Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. Today I'm going to be talking about 11 of the most uncommon or rare philodendron in my houseplant collection. A while ago I got a comment from one of you asking to show 10 uncommon philodendron in my collection or like the 10 most uncommon. So that gave me the inspiration for this video. So thank you so much for that suggestion. Um, I want to make a disclaimer that my collection doesn't have any like super rare plants or anything like that. The plants that I'm going to be talking about are plants that are commercially uncommon or more hard to find, um, maybe a little bit more on the pricey side if you do find them. Um, so yeah, there's not going to be anything like super crazy, but I'm excited to make this video nonetheless. And philodendron is probably my favorite genus, I want to say. Yeah, it, prob it probably definitely is. <laughs> oh, also the way that I'm rating them, like how I'm choosing the score that I give them is gonna be based on just like a general sense of how much I like them. Um, is the care easy? Have I had a lot of problems with them? The way they look, the way they grow, just like a general, just my general feeling about them. Okay, we're gonna start off with a good one. Why not? This is one of my favorite, not only philodendron, but one of my favorite plants in general in my collection. This is philodendron gloriosum. Let you get a good look at her there. She is absolutely beautiful. I think this is her newest leaf here. Um, she has four leaves. I got this plant as a cutting in September and um, recently repotted her. I posted it on my Instagram probably a few weeks ago now and she's doing really well. This has hands down been one of the easiest plants that I've grown. If you want to try out a more uncommon philodendron um, and you're a beginner, I would definitely suggest philodendron gloriosum. It's very easy to grow, but so rewarding. Like the leaves are just incredible. Oh, I love this plant so much. I have her in a terracotta pot, as you can see, and a very chunky soil mix. Just an overall a really great plant. I actually did score Philodendron Gloriosum 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely one of my all time favorites. Okay, next on my list is Philodendron Varicosum. Um, as you can see, I have two very small wimpy specimens here. <laughs> They are actually both in perlite because I rotted them both. I did. Um, yes. Um, I think that they are both bouncing back though. I'm not really sure about this one, but this one has definitely rooted and it's given me that little baby leaf. Um, as you can see, both of the ones that I have are very young, so I can't speak to like a mature philodendron varicosum, um, but I have had a rough experience with both of these. I have heard several people who have large uh, philodendron varicosum say that they can be quite difficult, um, that they are magnets for spider mites and just fussy in general. So it doesn't really surprise me that these guys have been kind of challenging and finicky for me. It's unfortunate that I love them so much. I really want a large full grown version of these. So I'm gonna keep trying because they are just so incredible and so beautiful. Um, so perhaps they are worth the struggle. I don't know, we shall see. So for now, I can only score Philodendron Varicosum out of five out of 10, just because of how challenging they have been so far. If you guys have one, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it's going for you because I need some hope that, you know, it's gonna get better. <laughs> I think this one might have spider mites, honestly. That could be part of our problem. All right, next I'm gonna be talking about this little cutie right here. This is my Philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy. As you can see, it is also just a small little guy. I got this a probably two to three months ago now and I love it so much. It's been living in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I'm honestly just obsessed with it. Like the leaves are so incredible. Look at that. Unfortunately, <laughs> this newest leaf right here. Unfortunately, the newest leaf that you see that looks all wonky right there um, was stuck and I just freed it this morning. So it's probably going to be all weird and damaged, unfortunately, but that's just a thing that philodendron can tend to do. Um, yeah, I probably rescued it a little too late, but you never know. It's such like, it's a risk um, going in and performing the surgery. 
Anyways, besides that problem with the most recent leaf, this plant has been so easy. Um, I need to get it climbing soon. I need to repot it and get it climbing soon um, because these are just so incredible when they're climbing and they get large leaves. I'm just so happy to have this one. I kind of bought it impulsively on a whim, um, but I'm really glad I did because I do really love it. So overall, I've had a really positive experience with this one. Can't wait to see it grow. And I rate it an eight out of 10. Okay, next is my Philodendron Florida Beauty, which I'm sure you already know I love this plant. I tend to post about it on Instagram and talk about it on here quite a lot. So this is the leaf that it was shipped to me with um, as a cutting in the fall as well. Um, thank you, Courtney. And this is the newest leaf that it has given me right there. So cute. It reminds me of a little ghosty. And it is actually coming out with a new leaf, if you can see right there which is so exciting. All I have to say about this plant are good things. I've had such a great experience. This leaf was in shipping for two weeks and it survived. It's like, look how much white is on it and it is still with us today. Um, that just blows my mind. Rooted up super easily, transitioned to soil super easily. It is such a tough plant and it's a plant that I was expecting to be um, more finicky, uh, but it's not at all, like honestly the opposite. My only concern for it at this point is the possibility of reverting one day because I do not think that this is stable variegation. I think that they can revert. Um, so far I've, you know, clearly had zero signs of that happening. It mostly gives like kind of half moony leaves with big sectoral lighter variegation. I guess it's not really, it's more of like a yellow white or like a cream variegation. But yeah, this philodendron is just incredible. I love the Florida leaf shape um, and just, yeah, the variegated version. It's just, I can see why there's so much hype about this plant. It's definitely one of my favorites in my collection. I just pray that it never gives me a fully green leaf because I will be stressing then. But yes, I love this one so, so much and I rate it 10 out of 10. Okay, next is my Philodendron Pink Princess. This lives right behind my uh, Florida Beauty actually. So I just grabbed this one to talk about next. Now, Philodendron Pink Princess have a really bad rep and honestly, it's for a good reason. I have definitely had my struggles over the past year with this plant. Um, I've had to chop it a couple of times because it's basically completely reverted, just giving me these dark kind of burgundy leaves with like either very minimal variegation or no variegation. So I totally jumped on the pink princess, pink philodendron, pink princess hate bandwagon. Um, I was like, yeah, these suck, like what the heck? And then she gradually started giving me just little splashes, like just a little splash of hope, you know? Um, and I was like, okay, maybe maybe she's gonna pick it up on the variegation. And then the next leaf that she gave me, and this is the newest one, she actually just put this out like a week ago, and it is this one. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I love it so much. So now I am loving her a little bit more again, and I'm just really hopeful that she's going to keep giving me leaves with some variegation like that. So we shall see. I will definitely keep you guys posted. But yeah, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster ride with her. Um, I was completely over it, and now I am liking her again. I've gotten some questions about how I got the variegation back, and to be honest, all I did was I chopped her a couple of times. So this was a top cutting um, from probably, oh, I don't know, probably the fall. So nine or so months ago. And I increased the light. Um, so she lives under my Mars Hydro Grow Light now. That's really all I've done. Um, I think the biggest thing is just like chopping it and patience um, to see if it'll give you some variegation. But yeah, because of the roller coaster that we have been on, I am giving her a six out of 10. You know, there's potential, but it's been a little rough. Okay, next is my Philodendron Painted Lady, which is another one of my favorites in my collection. This plant, uh, again, it's just been so easy. Um, it surprised me with how beautiful it is. I just, I had no idea I was going to love this plant so much but I do, I, I really, really love her. Um, I love the pattern or the variegation, whatever you wanna call this, on the leaves. It has like yellows, oranges, greens, it has a pink stem. It's just so incredibly beautiful. I love when people have huge ones of this. I can't wait. I need to get her on some sort of 
pool or stake or something so that she can grow upwards. She has just been so easy. I think that these are so, so underrated. Like you guys, you need to hop on the Philodendron Painted Lady because she's just so easy and beautiful. Look at this leaf there. I can't, it's so nice. I have to give her a 10 out of 10. One of my favorites, again, in my collection. Okay, next is my Philodendron El Chaco Red. Now, I have also had this for only about two to three months. I got it at the same time that I got the Philodendron Bro Marks Fantasy. And to be honest with you, it's been just as easy as the Bro Marks Fantasy. I'm not gonna lie, I've mostly just ignored this plant um, since I received it. It lives in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet, so it does have the luxury accommodations. But yeah, I don't pay too much attention to it. Um, that was detrimental though recently because it had a leaf that was stuck that I think if I would have caught it earlier, I would have been able to free it but I just wasn't paying attention. So it snapped off and now it just has this like stem from where the leaf was supposed to be. But it since then has put out new growth and a uh, leaf is gonna come from there instead, which is good. Yeah, I need to repot this and I need to pay more attention to it because it is extremely beautiful. Um, when it puts out these new leaves, it is just like so breathtaking and the backs like, ugh, this plant is very cute. Look how pretty that is. I think it's a plant that I am going to be very impressed by once it grows larger. And yeah, it definitely deserves a little bit more appreciation from me. It is very beautiful though. I'm glad that I have it. Um, I'm just excited to see it grow a little bit bigger, but it's been pretty fuss free besides that leaf breaking off, which really is just something that can happen with philodendron. Um, yeah, I haven't had really problems with it besides that. I am going to give it an eight out of 10. Okay, next I am going to be talking about Philodendron Silver Stripe. This is just a smaller pot of it that I have. Um, I grew this from cuttings from the mother, which is out in the living room. But yeah, so Philodendron Silver Stripe is a variant of Philodendron Brazil. And they just have, well, first of all, they have a more elongated leaf, as you can see. And then they have this cream stripe down the middle and then two silver stripes on either side. It is a very pretty leaf to just look at. Um, however, I have to tell you that this plant is not one of my favorites. I've had a really tough time with it. It needs a lot of light to keep its variegation. It likes to revert a lot. It'll just put out full vines of just green leaves that I have to cut off. Um, it will give kind of like weird distorted leaves sometimes. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm just generally not really a fan of the way it looks like yeah i don't know i'm just i don't know what it is i'm just not really a fan of this philodendron my my plan with this small pot was to grow it up a pole or something but i just haven't done that yet maybe i would like it more like that just something about it i mean besides it being kind of needy um to stay looking good but like I, just in general, I'm not a huge fan of the way it grows. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. It's a pain in the butt and I don't really love it. So definitely not a favorite. I am going to rate this one four out of 10. <laughs> okay, next I have my beautiful Philodendron Milano Chrysum. As you can see on this pole, let me try to get um, these top leaves in frame. There he is. I'm sure you've seen him before if you've been on my channel for a while. Um, definitely another favorite of mine has these beautiful velvety leaves. As you can see, this is quite a young one. Um, once they're more mature, they get really elongated, large leaves. But this is what mine looks like. I recently um, air layered him actually and took a top cutting. So this is the cutting, my little baby version that I have now, um, living in sphagnum moss doing really well. This has been such an easy plant to not only grow, but to propagate. I'm just very impressed with this plant. I hear a lot of people struggle with this plant and I don't know, I've just been really lucky with mine, I guess. I haven't had any problems. Um, the only thing that does sometimes happen if the humidity isn't high is the leaves will get really stuck and come out damaged and wonky. But like I said, it's just a philodendron thing. I want to show you the top here. Um, because it actually just shot out this new growth point from where I cut it. So if you can see right there, it has put out that growth point. So it's going to keep growing and I'm so excited. I don't know what, like, should I extend this moss pole? I don't know what to do. Yeah, so not really sure what my plan is with him, but it's definitely been a really rewarding plant to grow and very fast growing as well. 
I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Okay, next is this cutie right here. This is my philodendron squamiferum or squamiferum, however you would like to pronounce it. Um, the hairy petiole guy right here. So cute. Um, yes, this is definitely one of my favorite philodendron. I'm a little bit in love with him. He's living in Lekka. This is actually how I purchased him. I really need to get him repotted soon um, because his roots are just outgrowing this vessel. But he's been doing so well since I got him. And oh my goodness, look at this new leaf he's putting out. I think that it's going to have like the more kind of mature uh, leaf shape because I can see that it has like divots in there. And I can't wait to see that. It'll probably come out probably in like the next week or so. And it also has another little leaf coming in on a growth point there. He has several growth points uh, right now. So it's really cool to see him um, pushing out two new leaves at once. This plant brings me a lot of joy. He's been so easy to grow and yeah, just very, very chill, very beautiful. This is, I think, the newest leaf that he actually pushed out. So cute. He just looks so healthy and it makes me really happy. He lives on my philodendron plant shelf over there under my Mars Hydro Grow Light and seems to be loving life. I am rating him a 10 out of 10. Okay, we are finishing up with another cutie right here. This is my philodendron Billetier, and this is his newest leaf right there. This just came out um, probably within the last week. And it's the first like proper leaf that he's given me since I potted him up. This again came to me as a cutting uh, in the fall time and rooted really easily, transitioned to soil easily. Um, he is quite wonky, like he was just wonky. Um, I don't know <laughs> when I got him. His, a lot of his leaves are like pointing downwards. So it's really nice that he's giving me this new growth that's actually like <laughs> sitting upright. He does have this one as well. This is um, a leaf that he, I think he pushed this out in the fall after he came to me. But yeah, really cool plant. Um, it's been, like I said, super tolerant and easy for me. I'm really excited to watch this one grow just because it has so many weird leaves. So I'm excited for it to get to a point where, you know, all of its leaves are like this um, and just to get like large and mature again. Yeah, this is a plant that I definitely have wanted for quite some time and I was so stoked when I got it. But yeah, I don't really have any complaints about him either. Haven't haven't really had any problems. Very excited to see him grow and I rate him a 9 out of 10. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite philodendron and some of my not so favorite philodendron. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It really helps me out and... Subscribe for more planty content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.